You're watching BBC Newsroom Live. It's 11 a.m. and these are our main stories this morning. Good morning and welcome to BBC Newsroom Live. I'm Rachel Schofield. The Labour Party says there has been a sophisticated and large-scale cyber attack on its digital platforms. The party said the attack had failed because of their robust security systems and that no data had been taken. In a statement, well, we're waiting uh, for a speech by Jeremy Corbyn in Blackpool and we'll uh, join him when he starts that. But in the meantime, let's go to Westminster and... There are fresh warnings about the dangers of vaping, particularly for young people, after a teenager almost died from serious breathing problems linked to e-cigarettes. Ewan Fisher was connected to an artificial lung to keep him alive after his own lungs failed and he couldn't breathe. Doctors have told BBC News that the case is not an isolated incident, with one warning that young people should never go near vaping. Public health experts maintain that using e-cigarettes is still better than smoking. Here's our health correspondent, James Gallagher. More heavy rain is forecast until Thursday for the north of England and the Midlands, which could bring further disruptions. The Prime Minister is to chair an emergency meeting this afternoon to discuss how the government has responded to flooding in the region. OK, let's get more now on the election. And the Liberal Democrat leader, Joe Swinson, is campaigning in Stainforth in South Yorkshire, a county which, of course, has been badly hit by flooding in the last week. Well, the Lib Dems have set out plans for a £5 billion fund to improve flood defences across the UK, which would be paid for through government borrowing. The party says it would help build resilience and ensure all communities can get the cash they need in a crisis. Well, our political correspondent Tom Barton is in Stainforth Live for us now. Tom. I just want to turn uh, to some sad news that's uh, come in to us in the uh, last short while. The veteran Labour MP, Frank Dobson, has died at the age of 79. Mr Dobson served as Health Secretary, of course, in the government of Tony Blair following Labour's 1997 landslide victory. He was MP for Hoban and St Pancras in central London for more than 40 years before standing down in 2015. Labour candidates and officials have been paying tribute to Mr Dobson. The current health, Conservative Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, also praising his years of devotion to the health service. Well, uh, let's join Norman Smith, who's in Westminster for us. Uh, Norman, uh, Norman, thank you very much indeed. Norman Smith there. Uh, uh, those tributes coming into Frank Dobson, uh, former Labour Health Secretary, who has died at the age of 79. Well, let's return to the election campaign now, because throughout the campaign, BBC News will be looking closely at the places where the election could be won and lost. We'll be visiting 10 parts of the UK where seats will be closely contested. OK, let's go back to Blackpool now, where the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has been making a campaign speech this lunchtime. Our political correspondent, Nick Erdley, was listening to that. He joins us live from back Blackpool and gives us a lovely shot of the Blackpool Tower there, which we can't do without if you're in that neck of the woods. Tell us a little bit more about what the Labour leader's been saying. Nick, thanks very much for talking us through all of that, Nick Erdley, there in Blackpool. There are fresh warnings today about the dangers of vaping, particularly for young people, after a teenager almost died from serious breathing problems linked to e-cigarettes. Ewan Fisher was connected to an artificial lung to keep him alive after his own lungs failed and he couldn't breathe. Doctors have told BBC News that the case is not an isolated incident, with one warning that young people should never go near vaping. Public health experts maintain that using e-cigarettes is still better than smoking. Well, let's talk now to... OK, let's return to politics, because throughout the election campaign, BBC News will be looking closely at the places where it could be won and lost. We'll be visiting 10 parts of the UK where seats will be closely contested. And today we're focusing on Bishop Auckland in the northeast of England. My colleague Geeta Gurumurthy is there for us. Geeta. Looks like the sun's trying to come out in Bishop Auckland, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's get a look at the weather more generally. Here's Mel.